Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Mr. Rod Gasper of the New York Metropolitan's 1969 World Championship team. And this is a very exciting moment for us because we don't often get to hang out with world champions. Uh, Rod, you came in all the way from uh, Mission Viejo, I that's, believe. That's right. Just solely for this interview. Of course. <laughs> I wouldn't be here for any other reason. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Rod, the 69 Miracle Mets. You had the city. You had the, you know, Mayor Lindsay. Uh, giving you basically the key to the city. There's a great photo of you pouring champagne over Mayor Lindsay's head. Right. Uh, it was fun. You know, I poured champagne over his head. Grody, Jerry Grody poured champagne over his head, and Lindsay apparently was loving it. And, you know, obviously I think we helped the guy get elected again. I mean, that's just amazing. And to imagine that happening today, for instance, if you were on the team today and say uh, Omir Santos and you were <laughs> about to pour uh, champagne over Mike Bloomberg said do you think Santos might stop you <laughs> I don't I don't even know who Omar Santos is exactly <laughs> who's Rod Gasper He's, that is what we're gonna find yeah, out right. right now so let's go back to 69 okay. okay you guys win now you're running off the field for dear life we all go out there as, as teams do after you win right and I was coming out the field, somebody knocked me in my butt. Because the crowd just, and you just wham, I went it's down. It's scary. Yeah, and I'm looking up, and all of a sudden I see some guy in a black outfit clearing the people away from me so I could get up and run into the clubhouse. And later on I found out it was either John McSherry or this other guy, uh, Lee Wire. Yeah, sure. Lee yeah, Wire, yeah. one of them. I, th I think it might have been Lee, but he knocked these people uh, you know, out, away so I could get up and run back in the clubhouse. Wow. So the umpire for, helped you out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, speaking of helping players out, there's a big movement to get number 17 retired. What do you think about that? <laughs> Which seven, not well, mine. <laughs> you, you did conceive her his only victory ever in a World Series right. game by scoring the game-winning right. run That's in right. game four of 1969. We were hoping to get a hook with Seaver. Maybe you can get us a, a tour of his vineyard because he owes you. Maybe you could get me a tour. <laughs> he owes you. Yeah. He's got one World Series victory because you scored that game-winning run. Well, thank you. Right? Yeah, I did. But uh, and on a bunt from second base. I could run. Was it on a bunt? Yeah. You know, great bunt by J.C. Martin. I'm rounding third base. Eddie Yost, our third base coach, another just great guy. Right. And I, I'm from me to you as far you know. Sure. You're Eddie, I'm Rod. Yeah, yeah. Round in the bag. Is he telling you to stay or? He's telling me to go. I can't hear him. <laughs> the noise. Yeah. You know, yeah. the noise that Shane. The fans were telling you. And finally, I saw the ball ro rolling towards second base, and that's why I took off. Amazing. Who was the first guy to greet me at home? I would say. Uh, who, won the who won his only world? Tom Seaver. That's right. Seaver saw it coming from second base. He, Seaver always, you know, he thought way ahead. He yeah. always does. You know, the big time, smart guy. I mean, he was right there as soon as I touched home plate. That is amazing. Yeah. Speaking of home plate, Jerry Grody was uh, reportedly one tough hombre. I remember him getting base hits and ticked off for some reason, come in the dugout and throw his helmet in the dugout. I mean, he got to get some base hit. And he's, he's upset, you know. Well, you but know. he was, he was, you know, just a competitor. Uh, he would get upset with pitchers and he'd throw the ball back to the pitchers harder than they'd throw it to him. Before. Yeah, we talked to Craig Swan about that. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. and if you ever heard Tom Seaver talk about Grody, uh, Seaver said that Grody was the best defensive catcher he ever pitched to, wow. and he pitched, you know, he as pitched you know. some good ones. Well, Seaver pitched to Johnny Bench. And Carlton right. Fisk. That's right. With the Sox, with the White right. Sox, right? That's right. Yeah. So, Jerry, yeah, heck of a Heck of a catcher. About uh, Gil Hodges. Yes. What would Gil Hodges have done with <coughs> Louis Castillo if uh, he had uh, been there? Well. <coughs>